Hi guys, welcome to Rotten Rebel. Sandra is back and we are back with a new first impressions. And this time around we have how many from Montal? We have 13 from wow. Montal. Uh, so yeah, we have a bunch of uh, Montal uh, samples and we also have three of mine that I decided to throw in because I do think that you guys would benefit from knowing how we feel about them. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get to it. So yes. the first one is... The first one is Rose's Musk. And I am going to let you guys uh, know about the notes. So this one is sim simple. We have rose, musk and jasmine. It's really rosy in the opening. Mmm. This was kind of nice. Yes, it was. I wonder why you haven't bought it. You like roses. Mm, so yeah, straight away you get, get that rose and there's something else as well. It's supposed to contain jasmine. Can you pick up on the jasmine? Not that much, okay. but I'm not the jasmine expert as you are. Ah. But I do feel the musk. You do? Yes. And it actually reminds me a little bit of uh, Intense Café in the opening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Something I think yeah. in the background. Yeah, you're right. Um, so I pick up the rose. I think it's uh, this. I, I wasn't actually expecting it to be this nice. I mm -hmm. like it. It's to me, this is a soft uh, rose. It's not sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, my experience when it comes to rose in perfumes is that a lot of these uh, the different roses are quite sharp. And that means that uh, the wearer, i.e. me, is going to get uh, bored of them. Okay. And those around you might actually feel that they are not horrible, but, you know, sharp. Okay. Uh, but so this one is a soft, nice um, uh, rose that I, I, I don't think anyone sort of would be offended by no. it or anything like that. Um, I don't think I'm usually into rose fragrances, mm. but this is really nice. I yeah. Mean, I, would imagine getting this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I could be wrong, but I don't think that this one is that expensive either. I, I believe that they usually put this one at spe specifically. <laughs> this one is usually on sale. Uh, but anyway, um, this is worth buying. Even yeah, if it's not on sale. It's yeah. a really good one. I like it. Um, so quick um, rating from 1 to 10, what are you going to give Rose's Musk from Montal? I am going to give it a 7. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to give it a 7.5. Okay. It might actually end up like getting an 8 in the future. Uh, um, I do understand what you are saying when you mentioned that it is there's some similarities between this and Intense Cafe. Intense Cafe, yeah. yes. Um, but yeah, so that was Rose's Musk from Montal. We both gave it, no, you gave it seven and I gave it seven, seven and a half. Yes. And we move on to the next one, which is? Which is Intense Rose's Musk. Mm -hmm. And I am going to pull up the notes and the notes oh, for this wow. one is Rose, rose, musk, amber, and jasmine. So this is similar. Similar to the other one. Yeah, it's but just with the amber. amber. Yeah. And the opening of this one was just amazing. Mm. My God. I guessing it's the amber that makes it sort of aromatic. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is this is like the other one, but actually different as well like the rose... intense versions usually are yeah like yeah you add that spice and aromatics to something that is already very good yeah and just makes it perfect i i um i did i enjoyed the um, the roses musk rose yeah. in that it was soft and very sort of approachable and inviting uh, this one is 
but I do think I enjoy this one more. I do. It has yes. more personality. The other one felt a bit flat. And this also has something that makes it a little more sweet and candy-like. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this one definitely has more nuances to it. It has more layers to it. The rose and the overall composition, at least to me, is not as flat as the other one. This has mm. more details. It feels just better. Yes. Um, I agree. So what are you going to give uh, ro uh, Intense Roses Mask, right? Yes, yeah. Intense Roses Mask. Uh, this may very well end up in my collection and I won't be buying the Roses Mask because mm. this one is so much better. Yeah. So this is an 8 for me. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's really good. Okay. Um, Mm, I'm gonna agree with you. This one is definitely better uh, than the other one. The other one was good, uh, but this one just feels uh, more luxurious and yes. uh, simply better. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. Yeah. Uh, cool. So that was uh, Intense Roses Musk. Yes. Yes. And what and do we have next? We are moving on to Tropical Wood. Mm hmm. Tropical wood, yeah. And the notes for tropical wood uh, are passion mm. fruit, oud, pineapple, bergamot, then we have Bulgarian rose, violet, and leather. I love that. Oh my god. Leather, white musk, and Madagascar vanilla. So based on the notes. There are so many things I love. Yeah, yeah. And yes, this is wonderful. Uh, I can feel the it really is a tropical fr fragrance. Mm. Um, I can feel the vanilla, the viol... viol? Uh, violet. Violet. Mmm, <laughs> this is I think different. it's really cool. Mmm, yeah. Um, looking at the notes again. So this is leather. You have the fruity sides with the pineapple passion fruit. You have the citrus with the bergamot, you have the rose violet, and then the leather and the yeah. musk and the vanilla, yeah. and the oud. And the leather uh, comes more and more. In the so dragon. it's quite busy when it comes to the amount of notes. Yes. Um, and it's cool, but it also feels a bit weird because I do pick up on like the leather or oud yeah. or something, and it in some ways it feels like those clashes with the other ones. But I'm yeah. gonna guess you enjoyed I think it, that right? I enjoyed it, yeah. uh, but I felt now when I smell it again, uh, the leather is more dominant now mm. and the tropicals just went away. Yeah, so I, I get the fruity side, but mm, this is a tricky one. Uh, and I feel that we might actually need to sort of a, come back to this yes. one and see how it dries down. So I'm gonna put it on my wrist and maybe we will remember yeah. to smell yeah, yeah. it in like yeah, good idea. 20 minutes. So put it on your wrist yes. and we we will come back to this one. So I'm gonna put it here as well. So are we going to well. give it a rating? Yeah, we're gonna give it Before a rating. Before we go to the next one. Mm, at, the, at its current state, it was really exciting uh, when we sprayed it on, but I, I currently feel that it's sort of a mess with all the notes. Um, yes. There's something that, at, at least to me, shouldn't be in there. Maybe it's the leather, maybe it's the oud. Um, it, it, it does feel like it had a ton, ton of potential. Yes. Um, but I am going to give it maybe six. Um, it wasn't that impressive. No, I was about to say six as well, I agree. Okay. Yes. So that was our first impression and first rating of um, Tropical. Tropical Wood. Yes. And we are, hopefully we will remember to revisit it by the end of the video. Yes. So we can uh, comment on the dry down. So what do we have next? So now we have Intense Tiara. Mm -hmm. Intense Tiara. Uh, let's see if I can find the notes. And the notes for Intense Tiara are... Mm, this is nice. Tiara flower. We have coconut. I love coconut yes. if it's well done. Yes, it is. Uh, we have vanilla, ylang ylang, jasmine and rose. This is really cool. I really like it. And you got mm, the coconut oh. right away. <laughs> yeah, this the coconut. There's something about coconut that yes. I love. But so wonderful. most, I, I'm gonna say, I, I think that most fragrances fail when it comes to coconut because they sort of go overboard. 
Ah. And it feels like this super sweet, um, almost like um, sun lotion kind yeah, of. The coconut yeah. oil. Um, hmm, I like it. It feels smell it now. So just like 30 seconds into it, it actually changed quite a bit. To more jasmine, I think. Yeah, and less coconut. So the yes. coconut was intense in the beginning. It was. Um, but this, this is really cool. Mm. And very flowery now, I think. In a good way. Not sharp. No, this all. is not sharp. This is... Um, I've been buying a ton of... Uh, 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 fragrances for summer now yeah. uh, and um, this could actually be one that I am gonna get for summer because it has that sort of a fresh vibe to it but with a twist yes. that is going to smell at least I think amazing when you get under that scorching sun um, yeah uh, what are you gonna give it I am going to give this an 8. Mmm, that's pretty good. Yes, I think it's a really good flowery perfume. Round mm. and flowery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so straight away I did get the, the coconut. Uh, you can pick up the, uh, the flowers as well, the flora mix. And I like it. Uh, I think this is a tough. Maybe 7.5 or 8. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we both enjoyed, uh, I forgot the name of it, uh, Tiara. The intense Tiara. Intense Tiara. Um, really cool. Uh, and I might actually end up buying it. Uh, I'm going to put it uh, next behind me and I am going to revisit it. Revisit it later on and hopefully it's going to be as yummy as it is right now. It's cool with the coconut and that floral mix. Yes. Um, so yeah, cool. Uh, next one. Next one. And we are moving on to, wow, wild pears. Mm -hmm. And that sounds amazing. It does. So wild pears has mm, pear, bergamot. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> and then carnation, a lily of the valley, van, vanille, musk and sandalwood. So pretty this cool. This is like warm pears with vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. This is so nice. So, wow, it really yeah. smells like pear yeah. in, a, in a really good way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do pick up on the pear, obviously. Uh, I can't pick up that much of the citrus, which was supposed no, to be a No, this a is top. not a citrusy, no. Um, no the florals <laughs> are there, but I can't really distinguish between the carnation and the lily of valley. I just feel no. that it's floral. Yes. Uh, and then the vanilla, vanilla is obviously there. Can you pick up on the sandalwood? I didn't really feel it. I can pick up the musk. Maybe, yes. Okay. Yes, it, it reminds me of other fragrances with sandalwood. It has that, you know, light, beautiful. Mm, yeah, it is like a, it. yeah. Okay, so, hmm, this one is tricky again. Uh, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. Um, okay. It was really cool with a pear. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, I, I don't think that there are enough pear-based fragrances that are good. No, you're right. So it would be it would be really cool to find a really beautiful pear yes. uh, fragrance. Um, it is cool though. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let you yeah. go first. What are you gonna give it? Wow. I am going, oh, I'm going to go with another eight. Mm -hmm. It's like I give everyone eight. Mm. Can we make But a... I mean, it, it's good. Uh, it's not bad. No, it's good. And I do like that it smells like pear and mm. everyone likes pear. Who yeah, wouldn't I want think to smell so. like yeah. it? Like a pear ice cream. Um, I am going to give it seven and a half. Uh, so that was it. that was our uh, ratings for um, wild, uh, pear. wild pear. Yeah, yes. cool. And which one is the next? Now we have Old Lagoon. Mm. And this is actually one that we 
have smelled one time before when yeah. we did the perfume samples bag and I think it was the first round. Mm, it could have been. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna try and find which um, which fragrance samples game samples perfume samples bag, bag game uh, it was and I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna remember to put a, a link to it above yes. um, but I can't remember how we if we liked it or not. We thought it was okay but it was boring. Oh okay yes. okay let's see if we enjoy it more now then. Mm. And now that I compare it to mm. the other ones we smell that is just amazing, this is even more boring. I think I forgot to read the notes. Yes. Uh, so we have Osmanthus, we have Mandarin Orange, we have Tiara Flower again, he likes those. Uh, then we have Lotus, Gaiac Wood, Vetiver and Moss. Uh, quite an... Uh, Green. Green and green flowery. Yeah, like a, f a flowery, woody and yes. green sort of a mix. Um, Still not a favorite of mine. This is like a diffuser you could smell in a hotel. Yeah, it feels, uh, it smells, almost smells like a, uh, and I got a, like a flashback now. I'm not sure how you describe this uh, in our first video uh, impression of it but it also almost smells like uh, something you would uh, what's it called the um, oh, so you have your you have your washing powder ah, and the, then you have the yes. the other liquid that is supposed to make your make the clothes soft soft yes. and they all usually have some form of uh, softener to, softener yeah yes fabric softener yeah uh, this almost smells like yes. one of those. So yeah, it's 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 not a bad one. It's it not a just... bad one, but you just want it as you don't want it as a perfume. Yeah, the... and it, uh, it and I don't feel that it's a bad one, but it's it doesn't have a, a real character to it. No, uh, which makes it a bit boring. Um, so I am going to give it like five and a half. And I so am just going a bit above to... average. I'm going to agree. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to give it a five. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it's average. It's not above average. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. So that was uh, a wide uh, lagoon. Tropi um, Tropical Oud lagoon. Oud lagoon. Okay, cool. Yeah. So which one is next? Now we have full incense. Full incense. And I am imagining that we have tried this as well in one of the perfume samples bag. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I can, you can I can't go remember find it. that one too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the notes for full incense are incense, obviously. Then we have Elemi resin, we have French labdanum, we have Virginia cedar and patchouli. So this is supposed to be, be a wood, woody, mm, woody, incense uh, uh, with a hint of patchouli and some sweetness i'm gonna guess this smells like um <laughs> like my grandma's bathroom after Whoa. she uh <laughs> after, after she, what? she <laughs> no where is this after going after she uh, did her makeup and hair mm -hmm. and it's like old woman's fragrance uh, makeup kind of scent mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> wow! I usually don't Do you get want that. Some more? No, wow. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to brace myself for another s sniff. <laughs> I think the um, mix of incense together with the patchouli in this one was pretty horrible. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, this is not my cup of perfume and. Uh, Knowing perfumes quite well, uh, I know that it, if I would put this one on, people would not enjoy it. Most people mm. would not enjoy it. I would actually want to see if you get really dressed up someday uh, and put looking really on. good mm. and putting this one on and mm. see the reactions. If they mm. are going to that, see through that, that would horrible be, smell. That would be fun. Yes. Uh, but uh, I... I gotta enjoy my perfumes as well. I don't think I would enjoy that experience. 
Okay, but you do like challenges. But maybe if I go to uh, when Corona goes away, and maybe I can go to like an, uh, a bridge club. Yes, <laughs> play I was some about bridge. To say I never the done that. <laughs> or maybe go to like um, like a meeting area for um, for retired oldies, but goldies. <laughs> oldies. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, so this is an oldie but goldie kind of scent. Uh, no, oh <laughs> shit, no. Sorry guys, this is this is just funky. It's no good. That is almost. Uh, uh... And that that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy funky fragrances because I have plenty of funky ones. But this is funky done in a horrible way. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm sorry, I I couldn't. You, it's rare for you to see me react that way. I'm gonna give it. Uh, it's it's barely get gets a one for me. It's, no, this it's, is this, this is, is like. Uh, it's disqualified. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's zero. <laughs> it's not even on the scale. Uh, yeah, so I yeah, agree. both of us really did not like, like uh, full. full incense. Uh, moving on to the next one. Yes, and I hope this is better. And this is mm, sweet, sweet, sweet vanilla. Vanilla. Let's see if I can find it. Um, so sweet vanilla, wow, mm, so many this notes. This is sweet vanilla. It has vanilla and apricot. Yes, does it have some caramel? No, just, just apricot. Yeah. <laughs> vanilla. And so apricot. this is supposed to be fruity vanilla kind of mix. I think it's cool. Oh. Mmm, that is one yummy vanilla. Yes. Wow. And the apricot mm. makes it uh, something more than just the vanilla flavor. Yeah, fragrance. yeah, exactly. Like um, we had this, um, what was the name? Reminiscence vanilla something. That mm, is just yeah. so much vanilla. And that is just a vanilla fragrance with yeah. nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this, this has is... what that perfume would have needed. Yeah. So this, I would say that this is like a, a warm, Big warmth, uh, big warm vanilla, uh, almost sort of a not powdery, but it feels so thick. Yes. Um, with uh, some nuances of something, so that sweetness is not just pure vanilla. There's some other aspect to it, which is courtesy of that apricot, and I think it is pretty cool. And do you know what you can do with this one? Layer it. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. I know it. I can feel it. This is perfect for layering because it, it is quite linear though. You can just feel yes. the, that vanilla with the sweetness with it from the Yes. Do you fruit. think this smells like a panna cotta? Mm, no, but now they, <laughs> okay. when you say it, I do feel that it's... it's uh, uh, is it? Uh, what? Um, to not toffee. Uh, uh, caramel. Caramel. Yes. Yeah, am I, I asked, right or am I wrong? I asked if it, this contained caramel, just when you told me that this only contained uh, yeah, you vanilla did. and apricot. Yeah, you did. I'm but sorry, guys. Really I have, have a goldfish memory, so yeah. yes. And panna cotta is sort of a caramel, and, right? Yes. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. So um, no, that's creme brulee with mm -hmm. a caramelized uh, topping. Uh, then I don't know. I forgot about. Yes, but this smells like. No, yes, <laughs> like panna cotta the, and the the vibe <laughs> I get is something that you sort of get when you are making uh, the um, Jesus what 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 were we <laughs> toffee not toffee caramel yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's sort of a but, but toffee is sort of almost the same uh, yes at least to me it is. Uh, yes. so uh, anyway uh, moving on uh, no. I really enjoyed it yes uh, what are you gonna give it for rating. This is going to get an eight. Mm -hmm. It's okay. really good. Wow, this is like uh, something I could very well sort of a, uh, come up with something like this when I'm in the kitchen uh, baking uh, during Christmas. Okay, this so is, I was uh, just thinking, what are you doing here mm. if you can make things like this in the kitchen? It smells like something you would uh, when you're baking or doing some um, desserts or something. Yeah. It's really yummy. I like it. Uh, I'm going to give it seven and a half or eight. It's pretty good. Um, it's very sort of a linear though, and it's pretty much that vanilla, warm vanilla with something else. Um, so don't expect it to be like a. It's a simple. Fragrance, yeah, simple. But I like yeah. It. 
Uh, but I do think that you can create some magic with this and another perfume. So do you I have I'm, any recommendations? Um, I mean, you're the layering expert. I, I, honestly, I would try layering this with anything. Right now, I would probably love to layer with something like a, a pure leather fragrance. So imagine that leather yes. with this yeah. or maybe something that is much fruitier. Yeah. For example, some of uh, Armas fragrances, the Italiano Vivo, which I had, I believe I had it for my fragrance of the week. Um, maybe with the Delina. Delina, Delina could work. Parfum, the thing is, vanilla is in. S the reason why vanilla is in so many fragrances is that it it is universally loved, and it provides such a good base, sweet base, and you can do so many different things about it. That's why so many fragrances have vanilla in it. Yeah. So uh, that's what that's why this is like a perfect base. I'm actually I decided right now I'm gonna buy it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, I forgot the name. That was the third one that you're gonna buy, and the name was Sweet Vanilla. Sweet Vanilla. Cool. Moving on to the next one, which is which is Oud Damascus. Oud Damascus. Let me try and find it. There you go. So the notes for the uh, Damascus are rose oud, yes. olibanum, gurgeon balsam. I'm not sure what that is, and safflower. I can't remember how safflower uh, smells. I'm guessing like. it's safflower that smells in this. I think it's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Um, if any one of you guys have tried. Uh, different Montal uh, perfumes, then you know that there's this, between some of those, there's a similar kind of medicinal or sort of a oud, I'm gonna guess that it's a oud yeah. uh, scent. And I pick up on that one in this one. Uh, and it's it's sort of a, the same, uh, which uh, we are gonna come to one of my, one of the ones I don't like from Montal. Uh, and that one is full of this note and I, I just I can't stand that one uh, and you feel the same about this one yeah this is not as strong no but I just don't like that note so uh, yeah this one is straight to <laughs> hell for me uh, oh, I actually thought it was cool in the opening but now it's more like soap Mm, yeah, I guess someone uh, I describe it, describe that note as medicinal. Uh, you maybe think that it's uh, soapy. soapy. It could be soapy. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't I don't enjoy this one. No. Uh, so is it even on the scale or? Um, is it? <laughs> you can start. What are you gonna give it? Uh, not more than one. Oh, okay. I wouldn't wear this. Okay. Um, yeah, this one didn't make me flinch though, uh, which means that it's it's better than the other one, uh, and it's not horrible. I've I've had I've felt f far worse than this, yes. but I'm gonna give it like a two or a three. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm that not sure. Was... Yeah, oh Damascus, uh, we both didn't like it at all. Uh, moving on to the next one. Yes. And it's the last sample, and mm. then we have the three full bottles. Yeah. Which one is this? This is old leather. Old leather. Oh, I'm hoping that this is gonna be a good one because I love leather. So the notes for this one, uh, you have leather, saffron, usually they come together. Yes. Then oud, bergamot, cardamom, ambergris, and pepper. So maybe... I thought you were going to say cucumber and leather. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. So um, it is, it is a leathery fragrance, and it's not like anyone I smelled before. No, it's not. I do pick up on the leather, uh, and I wonder what it could be that creates that uh, cucumbery sort of a yes. vibe. And I feel the saffron. Maybe I wonder if it's the ambergris. The ah. ambergris together with the cardamom, maybe. Yes. Mm. You did mention that it has cardamom as well. Yeah. I can't feel any cardamom. 
Mm. This is not a spicy perfume for me. This is cool. There's something cool about it. Mm. But I don't think that it's leather enough or leather mm. good enough for me. No. I have leather fragrances that are way be better than this yes, one. I agree. And while I think that it's cool, it's not... I, I guess it's cool because it's a bit different. Yes. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure I would enjoy wearing it and I don't think that a lot of people would enjoy it on me as well. Uh, you do smell more of the leather when it dries, but it's not that special. Yeah, yeah, so it seems like it, the, the, the leather is growing by the minute uh, as it dries down. And you might yeah, have to come back to that one. Yeah, Maybe I might you have. Maybe put some on your wrist. Um, and we have yeah. one more to come back to. Uh, but uh, for our quick first rating, what are you going to give it? Um, I'm only going to give it like a five. Mm -hmm. It's not so special, but it's not bad. Uh, and I'm curious about your ankle. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is my wrist, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, good one, Sandra. I'm gonna sniff my ankle later on. This is in this video. Make sure you stay tuned for it. Um, okay. So um, moving, moving on. on. And now we have one of your favorites, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we are moving on to Jasmine Full. Yeah, so this is like a disclaimer. This, uh, these are not really um, uh, first impressions no. because these are some of my bottles. Um, yes, this is, this is full of Jasmine. Mm. Yeah, um, so I'm not sure. I probably already told this story, but I bought Jasmine Full when I was trying to find, when I was venturing into the world of potential perfumes that would smell like sex. Uh, and uh, Jasmine is one of those where you have different variations of Jasmine that could smell, to some they experience it as something that is like a... Uh, like hot. skin? Or... Yeah, skin, not, maybe not skin, but something that is dirty but in a human kind of way sexual that sort of a sense yeah. and jasmine in, is used quite a lot in what uh, perfume in in perfumes that the perfume houses describe as sexy fragrances okay. but usually the best one at least to, uh, according to me are the ones that have like a, a dirty indolent kind of jasmine together with some sweetness maybe together with leather maybe yes. together with vanilla, stuff like that. Um, this is just, to me, pure jasmine. It's not the funky or sexy kind. This is just a beautiful uh, bunch of mix of jasmine notes. And I'm not sure if it's three different jasmine notes in this one, I can't remember. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, some yeah. describe this as, uh, when I sprayed it on for my friends, some describe it as a bit soapy. Okay, um, and I am like the soap detective. I find every soapy so note you in fragrances. I, you, I you don't pick agree. up on it. Oh, okay. No, I might agree, but okay. not in a bad way. Mm, yeah, so there are way soapier than this one. Yes. Uh, I don't pick up that much on the soap. To me, this is, yeah, well, okay, it's, it's a little bit soapy, but to yeah. me, it's just jasmine. I love, uh, I usually don't just put on this one. I usually layer it with other, uh, but I layer it when I want that strong jasmine note yeah. together with something else. Um, so uh, what are you going to give that one? Jasmine I think pool. I am going to give it a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's good, but it doesn't really do it for me. Ah, and you yes. don't, uh, you, you're not like head over heels in love with jasmine right uh, no i do like jasmine in fragrances mm. but i don't want it to be the most dominant no mm. okay yes um i think for a jasmine for a clean jasmine this is like a 10 out of 10 but it's not a 10 out of 10 
as a complete fragrance. Um, I think I'm gonna give it seven or eight. I think it's really good. If you love Jasmine, then you owe it to yourself to check this one out because I believe it's one of the best ones. Uh, but just remember that this is pretty much a straight up Jasmine one. Yes. Um, so yeah, by the way, how do you feel about the full bottles from... Um, I actually hate the bottles mm. because there are uh, really good fragrances in them, but they just feel cheap. Yeah, and I yeah. would want the bottle to feel exclusive. Yeah. And I actually do think that you have the notes for this uh, one and oh. we forgot to read them. Uh, sorry guys, Jasmine Fool has uh, Jasmine, Honeysuckle and Orange Blossom. Okay. So yes. it is not just Jasmine, there's some, uh, some yeah. Yeah, um, But yeah, I agree, I think these, these they feel cheap. Uh, I like the shapes and everything, but they just feel cheap and the <laughs> cap always comes off. Yeah. And this, uh, I want to say something bad now, but this thingy, uh, this is, uh, it just comes off. It goes everywhere. I'm not sure if should I... It makes weird sounds that just yeah, sound like cheap. This. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Mr. Montal, I know you can't just change your entire line, but maybe think about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah moving on to the next one yes and now we are going mm. to try intense cafe and this is actually one that both you and i have yeah um okay. and the notes for intense cafe are uh you have floral notes then you have rose coffee and then vanilla, white musk, and amber. Mm, I really like this. It's vanilla, coffee, some florals. Mm, it's so yeah. nice. Yeah, I agree. And the um, funny thing about this is it is a coffee fragrance. But the first time you smell it and you didn't tell me what it was, mm. uh, I thought you smelled like tea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do know that some people get more of a, a chai latte yes. kind of yes. um, vibe. I get mostly like a coffee with milk or something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is to me a gourmand one with hints of rose. The coffee is there, but it's, I, I just wish that I love the co a note of coffee, the scent of coffee. I would have loved to have the coffee no note amped up in this one. Um, but. Yeah, I always, this always makes me feel good. Um, I am, uh, no, you first, what are you going to give it? I am going to give this a nine. Mm. I don't know why I usually don't use it that much. Mm -hmm. I really like it, but, mm. but I don't use it enough. I'm going to remind myself to use this more because it's really, really nice. Yeah, it is good. And being a gourmand, uh, I mean, you can layer it with other gourmands. So I usually layer this one with um, Miglaris Angel Muse, for example. Ah. Perfect match. Yes. Uh, I also layered it sometimes, not not all the time, but with Dior's uh, Feve Delicieuse. Try layering it. Uh, it smells amazing. Yes. I am going to agree with you. I think it's like an eight and a half or nine. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are looking for a um, well-made gourmand uh, that has hints of rose, a bit of coffee, that vanilla, and it smells like either, uh, depending on the nose you yeah. ask, either a chai latte or uh, uh, like a latte for me, coffee latte, uh, it's a beautiful gourmand. Um, highly, highly recommended and well worth the price. Yes. Uh, so let's move on to the final one, right? Yes, and I don't really want to try this one because we have tried it before and I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> so, so the next one is Black Oud. Yeah. Mm. Is it Dark Oud or Black Oud? Black. Uh, okay. Did I say dark? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> uh, this, a lot of people think that this is sexy. Um, wow. On who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On a very, um, very sexy person. But uh, now that I smell it, actually, it's it's perhaps it's not super bad. But I I never enjoy this one. Uh, I blind purchased it, purchased it 
uh, it's um, it has that specific Montal kind of note in it that I don't enjoy. Uh, when I put it on, I just feel, I, and I really Do you tried. Do put it on? I've tried it. Okay. I mean, I, I really got to try it, all my fragrances. Uh, and I tried it uh, quite a few times and I just feel weird when I have it on. <laughs> uh, I never ever received a single positive reaction <laughs> or comment when I've had it on. How do you feel when you have it on? Uh, no, I just feel weird, really. <laughs> yes. So I, I, could, I couldn't honestly, the compliments and all that are a nice bonus, but I wear stuff for myself. But this one I, I can't wear because I don't feel good when I have it on. I just feel weird. So uh, yeah, that's a black Oh, And if you were going to give it a rating, what do you think? It's a one. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I might actually revise it up a bit. So it, it got, it's gone from maybe one to two. Wow. It's not a complete, <laughs> it's not complete garbage, uh, but. But almost. Yeah, I just don't like it. Uh, yeah. That's it. Um, so yeah, that was those, and we were yes. supposed to come back to your yes. your show. Everyone, her my ankle. Wrist. Her, this is her ankle, <laughs> and this is my ankle, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, how does it so smell? So do you want to smell my ankle? Yeah, yeah. You want to? No, no. Oh no, that no, that no, <laughs> lollip, not that one. How is it? Which one was it, by the way? This. <laughs> Was it tropical wood? Okay, can I smell it? Yes. Hmm. Mm. It's more soapy now, and I'm not really into it. And this is horrible. I mean, we need to... Oh my God. That's we, we another to, one. We need to train our brains. Do some brain train. No, train that's brain. a leather one. Is it? Yes. Okay. And this is your wrist. Y yeah, this is my wrist. That is interesting. I want to smell more of it. Um, it's actually uh, the wine leather has, uh, uh, when it's sort of a dry down on my skin, it's better. It was old leather, wasn't it? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, old leather. Uh, it's it's much better. It's now sort of a like a leather scent, but uh, when I compare it to other leather scents, that that has the same sort of a feeling to them. Uh, I don't feel that this is justified uh, when it comes to its personality. No. There are other ones that <clears throat> smells exactly the same, but better. Yes, I That's agree. the way I put it. Yeah, I agree. So I don't, th I don't think, I don't understand why you would buy this one, but you can get the same but better in other fragrances. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure about your one and did we, did you remember which one it was? I think it was Tropical Wood. Okay. Okay. We will... uh, yeah, either way, I don't like it. No. So, yeah, yeah sorry guys. Uh, I guess we. I'm going to find out when I edit it, this one yes. uh, what it was. Uh, you guys probably know better than me or us. Uh, but regardless, that one turned out to be almost worse yes, than the opening. Yes. Um, so yeah, that was it for this one. Uh, I have a feeling that we are going to do a new one yes. because uh, I uh, put an order in from Montal uh, with, uh, I think it's three or four at least. Uh, I think it's over 10 uh, samples, but three or four that have been released the last six months. Uh, some of those fun. are those that are, are some that are, I'm really excited and really sort of crossing my fingers yes. that they are going to be beautiful. Uh, but yeah, this was interesting. Uh, Montal, uh, I guess I, if we are going to summarize this, is that Montal has some really cool yes. fragrances like the Intense Cafe, like uh, Jasmine Full. Yeah, that was cool. The vanilla was really nice. Yes. It was basic, but really nice. But uh, also a ton that are just bad. Yes. <laughs> or nothing special. And I guess- I'm guessing they're not bad. I'm guessing that they're good perfumes that will sit, be, sit on your skin for uh, quite some time, but they don't smell. 
in my experience, the, when I say something is bad, then then it's just obviously it's subjective. It's what I feel, think is good or bad. Someone else might love it, but when I also say it's bad, is that I don't believe a lot of people would enjoy it on me. No. Um, and um, so, and I guess I think he has like hundreds and hundreds. I could be wrong of fragrances. I think he has over 100 fragrances, okay. if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Uh, and I guess you can't create beautiful, like hundreds and hundreds of beautiful scents, but no. um, it's it's a tough, uh, uh, the only thing I can say is that there are some gems in, in Motal's collection uh, that you, uh, if you really sort through the stuff that are not good, you can find those gems. But it, it is a perfume house that I wouldn't just go crazy and blind by no, everything. No. Make sure that you order some samples and try them out first because otherwise I feel that a lot of people are going to get a surprise that are not a good one. Yes, disappointed. Um, but yeah, so thanks for coming over for this uh, Montal yes, First Impressions. Fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would smash that like. Uh, don't forget to check out Sandra's channel. It's growing by the day. You are adding videos almost daily, uh, both for men and women, right? Yes. Uh, so make sure you check her uh, channel out. I'm gonna put a link to her channel in the description. Make sure you follow Rotten Rebel as well, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.